Never take advice from someone that you wouldn't change places with. Advice can be given in a lot of different ways and I try to be very careful at who I take advice from. Recently, I've gotten a lot of unsolicited advice and there was one particular piece of advice that sparked this YouTube video. I've had a couple people correct me on the proper way to pronounce Prevo. Prevo is the bus company that a lot of high-end conversion companies convert to motor coaches, and I detail Prevo buses all the time. If you watch my Instagram feed, you'll see some Prevo buses, and I've met I don't know how many owners. I was just looking at my Prevo playlist, and I have 15 videos that are tours of Prevo motorhomes or owner interviews and stuff along those lines. So a few people came on to my YouTube channel and decided to give me some unsolicited advice and tell me that Prevo is pronounced Prevo and that I'm the one pronouncing it wrong. And my advice to these people is, if you don't know what you're talking about and you're not 100% sure that you're right, don't give people advice. Around the same time that these couple comments came in correcting me on how to say Prevo, one of my buddies called me and said that he was RV shopping and that the salesperson, he was looking at like a Tiffin or I think an older country coach actually at an RV show down in Arizona. And he called me and he said, hey, the salesman told me I'm pronouncing it wrong and that it's Prevo and not Prevo, and this guy's an RV salesman, and he said it with a lot of confidence, and he corrected my buddy, and that salesman lost all respect from me, not because he didn't know how to say Prevo, but because he gave my buddy unsolicited advice, tried to tell him that he was saying it wrong, when really my buddy was the one that was saying it right. So that guy's lost all of his credibility at that point. And I've had a lot of people giving me advice, especially as my YouTube channel has grown. And I actually am one of the few people that I'm willing to take unsolicited advice. I try to surround myself by people that I have a lot of respect for. And when those people offer me unsolicited advice, I'm going to definitely listen. But I do take everything with a grain of salt. Um, I've been given lots of advice from lots of different people. And... As I get older and wiser, I realize that not all advice is good advice. And one of the main things that I do to decipher whether the advice is good or not is who is this advice coming from? You know, there's times um, when someone will give me some, some great business advice. Now, there's also times when, say, someone that's, you know, maybe, you know, ran a car dealership or... Uh, a very successful IT computer guy will try to tell me how to run my mobile detail business and you know tell me I need to expand and get 10 trucks and do this and that and this is you know stuff that I've definitely tried I've tried to expand I you know I'm the guy that's been running a, a detail business for the last 10 years so I'm gonna know more about a detail business than a guy that runs a car dealership now they may have some good advice for me but the fact is, they're not skilled in this arena. So therefore, the advice that they're giving me may be great for the IT world or uh, the car business. But as far as mobile detailing comes, this is a tricky, tricky business. And there's very few people that I will take advice from because there's very few people that have done it as long as I have and have had the success that I've had in mobile detailing. So a lot of people give me advice about my YouTube channel as well, and it's cool. There's actually been some great advice from people that um, know a little bit about YouTube, and they'll say, hey, follow this YouTuber, check out what they're doing, and I, I greatly appreciate that advice because I'm definitely learning a lot, but at the same time, I'm up to like 3,000 subscribers and um, I don't even know, like over a quarter million views on YouTube. And I have people that have no subscribers, have never gotten any views, and then they're giving me bad advice on YouTube, telling me, hey, you should make a video about this. And 
I, you know, appreciate everyone trying to give me advice, but you got to realize my brain only has so much space to process so much information every day. And if you wear out your welcome by filling it with bad advice, I'm going to have to set my boundaries and I'm not going to welcome, I'm not going to welcome you as much if you give me bad advice. So the best is when people try to give me advice on actually detailing an RV and I'm always trying to learn how to detail RVs, but I meet all these people that have like waxed their car two or three times or watched a couple YouTube videos and they think that they're an expert on, you know, tar removal or hard water spot removal. Like, oh, just spray a little bit of vinegar on that and that should come right off. Buddy, I've been detailing every day for over a decade now. I, I've seen all kinds of different situations and I've been very successful. Like if you look at my history, I've been to the Concord A Elegance five times. Last year I was helping with Wayne Carini's cars. I was helping take care of the Bugatti display vehicles. I was the guy that actually held the veil on the Bugatti Devo before it was unveiled. It's actually pronounced Bugatti, but I'm saying it wrong. That's a 6 million euro car, 5 million euro car. I don't even remember. It was some crazy amount of money. But um, I'm the guy that's trusted the detail, like the nicest of the nicest cars. And when I have someone, you know, come at me a certain way, and I understand you got to do your homework, but, um, you know, when you when you try to give me advice on detailing, I, I appreciate um if you're a detail expert, but if you've never detailed then you know, now if you ask me for my opinion, I'm always, always happy to share my opinion on detailing. So advice can go both ways, especially unsolicited advice. There's been a few pieces of unsolicited advice that have really helped me greatly. And I greatly appreciate that. Uh, but the people that give advice that don't know what they're talking about, Maybe just think about it a little bit before, more before you tell someone. And my unsolicited advice for you is give unsolicited advice only when you absolutely know what you're talking about and you're sure that you're correct. And it might be something that will help the person that you're giving advice to because I do appreciate a lot of that unsolicited advice. A uh, part of doing the job that I do is I get to meet a lot of really awesome people, a lot of really good negotiators, and I, I enjoy getting that unsolicited advice from some of these guys. But I'm wise enough that you got to take everything with a grain of salt and always look at who is this advice coming from and would I want to trade places with this person. So this video was inspired by the people that commented giving me unsolicited advice on how to pronounce Prevo. I wish you all the best. I hope that in the future you don't pronounce it Prevo, it's Prevo. Hope everybody's having a great day. If you want to see more RV related content, please subscribe.